Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancion. I saw I come back and speak about transcendental psychology. For life is a dream. We, we've been dreaming this dream of duality and conflict and pain and suffering. Now we, we, we are called to dream a dream of, go, of the golden age, dream a dream of, of love and beauty and truth and, and uh, everybody's sharing. And, and so it is already possible. We just need to, to shift our perception from the dualistic matrix into the inner light. And so for the full manifestation of God is already present within the laws. The laws of the universe are perfect mirror and reflection. And, and once we align with the law as individual, planet, system, constellation, universes, and so on, we, we, we achieve light and life. We, we get settled into a, an eternal circuit, cosmic circuit, and, uh, and we receive additional uh, ministry from paradise and the central universe sometimes, and, uh, and, and uh, the super universe. So just uh, be aware that you are constantly uh, surrounded by spirit that are listening to all your story. We are all a story. All the story is important. But when you make your story more exciting, more spiritual, there is more spirit that are attracted to your story. And it's like the subscribers. Not that it's like uh, on, on social media, on subscribers. But, but here it's like how many spirits subscribe. And know you, the creator is always present, always. Your guides are always looking after you. Uh, uh, and, all the, uh, the, the, and there are so many spirits that are interested in each and every one of us for what we are bringing to the collective shift. Although we are, personally have nothing to show for. It's like all this work I've been doing for decades, I have absolutely nothing to show for. My, my life is a complete, my external life is a complete ruin. But, uh, but it can be repaired, Spirit has been saying, it will be repaired. But, but, but it's like, so, so this inner work is like so much more important than the outer. It's like it, it's been a great test for me eh, to, to pass through with uh, this, this period of time. Um, but, but seeing and knowing and connecting to the, to, to the spirit, to God, in this time and space, in the physical body, has meaning to the shift. Every time we can connect to the divine light, anchor it into the planet, anything we do for the, for the evolution, for the, to assist in, in the, the light within its own plan and process has great meaning, although sometimes I feel I'm prisoners of my beliefs because I've created subconsciously this physical reality when, because I was unconscious. So, But the inner work is that I'm doing is, is going to shift the whole thing outside. I know that. It's like, it, um, for the day, it is the exchange of gifts. So to receive, to give, first you want to give, and then you can learn to receive, and then you want to learn to share. Life has to be gracious. We have to, 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 to to shift our reality from a struggle and difficult life to an acceptation of an easy life, a, a, a comfortable life. For, for, or there was a poet and a philosopher named Rumi, um, a mystic, uh, mystic uh, person, and, and he was saying that, um, that um, when we get closer to a peaceful joy, it means that we're very close to ascension. When our mind is no longer agitated, it means we're really close. He was also saying we're not looking for love. We are looking for those things that prevent us from feeling love. He's a, he's a wise man from, from, the, from the Near East. And so, uh, for we carrying a cross, uh, we're carrying a cross of matter, but we want to let go of the cross of matter, and eventually we're going to have the pillar of light that's going to descend and forever settle us into the higher frequency. I'm getting more access to my Akash, my past lives, and so on. It's quite interesting. Um, but before we get access to fully our Akash, we need to overcome, we need to master unconditional love and unconditional forgiveness. Those are the two powers we all need to master before all the other things come about. Because otherwise we'd have so much self-judgment upon ourselves for certain things or, or self-judgment of some people for doing certain things to us in this life or past life. So we need to learn unconditional forgiveness and see the Akash like in a museum, like you, you, you contemplate it, you don't try to manipulate it. Or for, for it's like there is this physical Akash, holographic Akash, that, that there are different ones as we ascend in, in the dimensions. There's four, six dimension. There is one, even one on paradise. It's about the master universe, who's like a baby. But there is already so much that has happened. It's, it has this little growth. And so we are, but, but we get, getting access to Akash is very precious, very powerful. Uh, because life always points us to the best possibility. But it always shows us our, our weaknesses and, and, and justify the fact that we're not getting our highest potential because of our, our weaknesses. So, so it's like uh, we're showing you what you, what you could get, but you're not going to get because you, 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 you haven't done this or done that, the way it's been denied. 
But God is a transcendental energy, it's beyond our, our level of judgment. We have to, to, to know that. Huh? God is all about love. When a new idea comes into our mind, also, there's like all, we, it's a test sometimes. Like, what do we do with this thought? Where do we go from it? Where, because our spirit watching us, huh? it's like at the, they're not in judgment. They see our light, they don't see the. the but, and they're all very interested in the stories that are going on here. The, the, the observer of the day is the dream, it is the love, it is. Uh, for even this relationship, I was deeply connected to this person. That's so wrong for me. And then she left completely. But uh, but spirit says I need her, so I'm, I'm not rejecting her on the energetic level. And then if she shows up physically, then we'll see. But um, for the past, is the wheel of fortune. Is the wheel of so I have to bear this cross for now. It's like. Um, but uh, for for it is uh, the past is the wheel of fortune. Everything has already shifted into this higher dimension. It's just the mind has to catch up with it. And physically, <coughs> we are bombarded with gamma rays right now. Where we are now is the great nothingness. The great teacher is because sometimes I feel like spirit says I have everything, and then but then I feel I have nothing. But even nothing is something. Nothing is something already. For um, yeah, I know there are many people that would love to have what I have, even on the physical plane on this planet. But we want we want to create eventually a point of opening so that everything can ha everybody can have uh, what they need. The only, what what we need is to become one, and people are fighting against the one. They're fighting against becoming truth, beauty, and goodness. They still uh, believe that they can control the program to their advantage, or so on, or something like that. Um, but the will of God will, will, will be what will be manifesting at the end. So we have this, we have this great void. Within the void, there is all things. God doesn't have form. God is everything. He's one. He's, he's the, he's all group. All is he's all, all that is all. Uh, but um, for the great I am, or the, 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 there is the source. Uh, there is all kinds. It doesn't matter how we conceive. But God is also the, the, the most sacred part within ourselves. And what's coming is the full mastery, the ascension. To ascend, we need to align with the 13th dimension, the source reality that dominates all the 12th dimension of our sub-universe. And, and when we achieve that, we become masters. We are elevated into the 7th dimension. For it's very challenging for me to, to, to feel. I know, I feel it, and I know it's like most of the time, it's like this, this amazing abundance and this amazing light. And yet I have no access to no resources outside. So it is a challenge because the, 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 the point of attraction is the feeling state. It's not what we think, it's the, how we feel. So, um, and ascension can only be given if, if people uh, accept to follow the guidance, to be submissive to the great divinity within themselves. It's like Islam says, submission, submission to divinity. For Islam is a beautiful, it's be I think it's beautiful religion. It's, it's Spirit showed me that it's got, got great potential for healing and unifying the world. It will come. Huh? And, um, and, and every prayer is an opportunity to create, to connect directly to the Creator, to the source, the supreme intelligence of the universe that is all. Um, in the invisible world, we have this wealth. This confirms what I what I was talking about. We we have developed enough. Uh, we're continuing to working to cultivate this sense of connection to the source. And on the outside world, we have this completion. So it's like only major cards, except for the wealth that is uh, the, the, the ten of of coin. But uh, we, we have really the completion. It is the universe. It is the doors to the world that are going to be happen, opening on the outside world. For the at the end of time, God needs to break away all the illusion that man has about God, what is the nature of God. Many people came here to reveal that unique aspect of themselves that is God. But it's not about form, it's about, it's about frequency, it's about value, it's about, uh, it's about value more, more than the manifestation. Uh, although the manifestation will probably uh, quickly follow. I, I want to say sometimes what you do in the astral plane, in the dream state, in the be kind there. Uh, be kind and be lucid when you travel, when you when you imagine, when you. Uh, for I, I I've, because I've met I met the, many people on the astral planes. It's part of the mission to 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 see what what to do with that. And sometimes I, I met some really dark soul by a little bit by 
I was met them like that, and I'm not going to discuss the details of it. But but I have been informed a few weeks later that this person, as the result of my encounter with that person, he completely changed his system of beliefs. He's completely put in question all that he, he used to think before. And this person is a very important actor on the world stage. So 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 it's like to turn a, a dark actor into a grey actor to move towards the light is something that's quite valuable. And. Um, Yeah, I'm going to finish with this one thought is that the, there is a part of me that, that really uh, want to see the extraterrestrial. There is a part of me that wants to go home, that wants to return to the, to the Creator, to return to the Source, to return to my home on, on high, to, 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 to find myself and to be the thought, to, to, to return to this thought. Of, but there is a part of me, I haven't been released from my mission, and there is a part of me also that wants to see the, this, this new golden age, this renaissance, this, the, the extraterrestrials, the great shift. So, so we're here for a reason, and, uh, and all will, will unfold in, uh, in, in its right and proper time. Well, thank you very much uh, for listening, for, 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 your, for your donations. I thank you so much. I, I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I'm going to finish with a song, as usual. Spirit seems to think that singing is very important, that I continue to sing. Uh, maybe I'm going to write some music, new music, just very soon. This one is an old song of John and Vangelis. It's, uh, it's about uh, for connecting to the spirit within. It says, uh, I'll find my way home. You ask me where to begin. Am I so lost in my sin? You ask me where did I fall? I say I can't tell you where. But if my spirit is lost, how will I find what is near? Don't question, I'm not alone. Somehow I'll find my way home. My sun shall rise in the east. So shall my heart be at peace. And if you're asking me when, I'll say it starts at the end. You know your will to be free is matched with love secretly and talk will alter your prayer somehow you find you are there your friend is close by your side and speaks in far ancient tongue a season wish will come true all seasons begin with you one world we all come from one world will melt into one just hold my hand and we're there somehow we're going somewhere somehow we're going somewhere you ask me where to begin am i so lost in my sin you ask me where did I fall, I'll say I can't tell you when, but if my spirit is strong, I know it can't be long, no question I'm not alone, somehow I'll find my way home, somehow I'll find my way home, somehow I'll find my way home. Well, here he's talking about this following his guide, just being submissive to the higher, higher consciousness, huh? uh, the guide that speaks in far ancient tongues. No question, I'm not alone. And we are together for this conscious of unity is always about expanding inside and outside. Of course, we want to unite with the first, with the source, with the cause, first cause first, the love. Uh, and then you can first, that, that, so that's kind of a priority uh, to become one with the, the one that is all. To, which accepting each level, each step, each, uh, to, to be content with what we have is kind of important at each moment and to know, to prepare ourselves for amazing, to, to prepare ourselves for the very best, always. And uh, the observer of the day is enthusiasm. Let's stay enthusiastic. We, we have all the reason to be to show me things that are so amazing. It's like, uh, it's like I'm going to... The laughter, it's just so much joy, it's so much, it's 
this uh, liberation is about just being free, yeah? assuming the responsibility of freedom and your role in the process. The highest wisdom is a learning process, is an apprentissage. It's a, you, you got to go through a training to be prepared for what is the, for, for you the experience of your highest potential. It's the card 66, unconditional love. Then we have the card 54, which is to understand is the reward. The cause is the effect. When you eventually the, the, the rewards come as a result, uh, it's like life is, um, we don't do things for rewards, but uh, they understand that we deserve, you deserve to be rewarded for the work you have done. What is needs to be done is authenticity, to sign on self, be true. If you are true to yourself, as Hamlet just said, you cannot be untrue to anybody else, there is only one truth. So, so just speak to always be more authentic and, and, and do not judge yourself for all the layers of, of little things that come through your mind that may be showing you less than that. Those are just things that are being removed by being conscious of that. And the, the outcome will be the revelation. The revelation of God, of the truth, of the one. Everybody's got to start to swell. How, how, how can we miss that before? Huh? You know, <laughs> how can I, it's like, um, so much is about to unfold. But thank you very much for commenting, letting me know what you think. And, um, and I'll talk to you later. Adonai.